recording started, so I imagine this takes place after the original OG Charlie castle talk in which Charlie had a very bad time. Uh, does Did Charlie hold up in her room for a while, or what'd she do? Um, she, she held up in her room for like three hours, and she went out to sunbathe. Okay. Uh, do you want the interaction to be like after those three hours, or just Nigel happened to unfortunately swing by within that time? This is completely up to you. I think it'd be interesting if interesting if it was during that time. All right, because that might cut her time down then. Her time? You, she might not spend as much time there then. In because the you know she has or to, talking to Nigel. Yeah, no, in, in the room because she wants to keep uh, a demeanor of I'm strong. Uh oh. <laughs> well, she doesn't know he's coming. <laughs> I imagine while Charlie's in there, she probably just hears a knock at the door. <sighs> Charlie. You Nigel has good ears. Ears. He can hear something shifting around. Nigel opens the door. Oh, Charlie opens the door. Um, she is wearing, uh, um, you know, business casual, but she has like her, you know, the lighter overcoat is off, so it's just a blouse underneath. Mm. Hello, Nigel. Off the moon, Charlie. Haven't seen you in the last few moments. Well, it's a big island. Well, of course, but I'm shrugs. I was going to ask, did you? I don't know if you saw the pro game tonight. I had uh, something for diving. I know. You, I think you were thinking about doing it. Did you want to stay? Uh, sure, I'll be around to do so. All right, sounds good. Um, and is she is she obviously down, or is it something I'll need to empathy for? Um, something you probably need to empathy for because you know Charlie's good at hiding stuff. Mm -hmm. Let me just roll my negative three. Are you adding your status Ooh. or no? I am not. Okay. <laughs> we stand up. I only got, I only got two successes. Oh, it might still... Oh, his empathy went up. Good job, Nigel. Oh, uh, Snoop, you can't tell. <laughs> She's like, alright, sounds good. I think it was scheduled for a bit. I think it's like 8 o'clock tonight. Or so. She seems to think, alright, I should be able to do that. Very cool, cool. What I was doing? just going, mm -hmm. yes? Oh, what are you what you say? Well, I was going to say I was going to spend a bit of time here, then get changed into something and go tanning. Tanning? I can't, I can't be pasty forever. <laughs> You're lucky you can't tan, I just burn. Well, that's the gift in Scottish. Well, it really is, my gentle Scottish skin. <laughs> Holds his face. He's still not ginger. I, I hear they burn twice as fast. Oh, probably. And that's how we know you're not Irish, because you're all gingers. Oh, I'm not Irish. What do you say, Irish? No. no. I'm saying that's how we know you're not. Well, I know, but at the same time, I mean, my mom was ginger, so... I don't know. <laughs> he sweats. Well, maybe there's a bit of Irish in you. I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, a bit Imagine, of but I'm not one of the gold damn Half Scottish, half Irish. Oh no, that'd be Gavin tonight. Unholy combination. They're just really wrong. I'd be like I betrayed my own people at birth. One second, I have to look up something quick. I 
can't find it. I was trying to see if there was a slang word for referring to an Irish person. <laughs> it's just like, what I need to buy Irish when all of us Scots get our own culture and stuff. I don't need someone piggybacking off of my English. She struggles a bit. Well, anyway. What will your people that eat right now or something? Could you repeat the quest? Uh, could you repeat the question, Nigel? Are you all people that right now or something? Tired? Not exactly. Just well, uh, lady things. <laughs> he he immediately looks apprehensive. Charlie. Charlie knows exactly what she's what she said because Charlie was a dude. Charlie knows that lady things can mean anything. <laughs> and that men are normally like oh no. She been shrugs. <laughs> that men are immediately like fear. <laughs> yes. It's just like oh what a -a? really? What on the way can you like I she? Well, I don't get to choose when those things happen. Oh, you're right. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Oh, they they need anything or... Now I'll be good in an hour or so. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He leans forward a bit and he speaks wider. Nigel? It's on the timer? Nigel? No? It's not something I'm going to discuss. That's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> He suddenly looks like he's like, oh, it's so gross. I, I contain monsters for a living, but a woman bleeding is horrible. And it's, it's even funnier. Charlie's just letting him assume it's that. Yeah, you're not lying because you haven't said anything. Yeah. It's just like that. It's not a half lie either because, you know, Charlie's like, mm, fear. He's just like, all right, well, I'll let you do that then. And I did let the wait. I thought you. He looks really confused. Say again, Nigel. Your accents are a bit thick. I'm just. Cut. You. What you attack sharks? She kind of holds her face. It's like, no, no, it won't. I mean, how do you stop yourself? From, how do you stop yourself from playing in the water? <sighs> you know that aisle full of tampons? Of the what? You know where you go into a store and it's full of tampons? Oh, this little aisle. Oh, you know no. that aisle that whenever you, you look down, you just feel dread? Oh, yeah. That aisle? Yeah. Yes, that's that's how. Oh, I thought... Nigel, if you ever could have a girlfriend, you need to know these things. Oh, thank you. I thought... Oh, Alright, so, Nigel, what does a sponge do? What does a sponge do? Oh, it absorbs I... water. Right, right? I knew. Yes, yes. Oh. So, if you have a very good sponge, it can absorb the blood. Also, when you go diving, you use a you use a wetsuit. Why is it called a wetsuit? It's because it keeps you dry. I don't know how these things work. Not the wetsuits, I don't you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll say it. <laughs> And then, you know, you know, like, two, two, like an hour or so later, Charlie comes out in the key and goes to beach. <laughs> Hangs out on beach. Yep. He's probably off somewhere else until time to meet up. Charlie eventually meets up. 
still in bikini because you know why change? Mm-hmm. So like, are you all right? You good to go? You still want to? I said I'll go, and I like diving. Really? Some you look. If he stops, you like diving, but you don't like climbing. Why is that? Well, because. I didn't say I have anything against climbing, I said I have things against spelunking. What's the same thing? No, it's a cave. I don't like caves. But you can go diving in caves. But I'm not gonna go diving in the cave. Oh, that's the fun part. <laughs> See, I imagine they're walking there. Do you know how dangerous... So, okay. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Cave. Climbing. Is incredibly dangerous. Cave. Diving is even more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Two out of five cave divers die. That's a statistic. That's 40% of it, Nigel. Well, we must have been doing something wrong then. Well, actually, that's normally because of the uh, equipment malfunctions or because one of the jagged rocks slashes something that's important. And then they get to experience themselves drown. I don't want to experience myself drowning, I just don't. I don't think I'll do either. That's why I'm not going to go cave diving, Nigel. Okay, well, that means maybe the same way I'm going cave diving, but just going diving. Yes, and I'm okay with just going <laughs> diving. <laughs> okay, control, whatever you say. Go look at some fish. What are you sighing for? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fine, there's gonna be zero caves whatsoever. I know. What are you sighing for? I just am. Am I not allowed to sigh, Nigel? Oh, I'm not sigh, you're allowed to breathe, which is part of that. Exactly. But it's like point, it was like a... <gasps> Oh. You still having problems with sand? Is he? Uh, yes. Yeah, I yeah. am. I was trying to think of something with the resort. Do you have a coin on you? I don't, as you can see, no pockets. A, a coin? A yeah. coin, yes. He reaches back and pulls out a little, he has a little, like, coin purse. He pulls out and pulls out a coin. Uh, heads or tails, Nigel. Flip it. Oh, I hate you know, do the flip where you like do it, catch it, put it on the back of hand. All right. Uh, one heads, two tails. Heights. Did Nigel call heads? I think he did. Yes. Okay. I have been putting the sand in your shoes. Huh? Takes a moment. He waits for the joke to come because he's like, Charlie can't lie. And it doesn't. And he's just like... She has a cheeky grin. What is it? It was you? Yes. Oh, you cheeky little bastard. Oh, look at that. Oh, so I was ready to kill Misha. I was so confused. It was everywhere. I think of a key to my room. How would I get in there? Well, you see, you know those sliding doors in the back. But I... All you need to do is pop them at a certain angle, and they all oh, it's and it slides right open. The one that got to connect in the rooms? No, no, no. The uh, the one into the balcony. You came in through the balcony. Yes. Oh, that's so clever. Oh, so clever. Oh, so we're all on the same floor. So all I have to do is skip over to. Uh, Nisha's room and then skip over to your room and boom. <laughs> oh, you really had me go. I was so confused, Charlie. Well, that's, that's why I decided to well, that's why I gave you the option with the coin toss. Oh, so if, I, if I'd lost the draw, then you wouldn't have told me. You would have continued to put sand in my shorts. Well, not your shorts, just your shoes. Putting sands in your sh shorts and uh, shirts would. Well, uh, there was definitely sand on my shorts during lunch. No, I put sand on a chair, not your shorts. Oh, I thought they were on my shorts. And then I put it on the chair. He shrugs. Oh. 
Did Will Smith? Well, was, was Big Shot in on this? Not as far as I'm aware, but he probably noticed I did it. Little bastard. Oh, why my shoes? Well, because was, he's, you know, dumb out. Okay, so that's and awesome. And there's just enough deniability that you could think that you did it. I did think. Well, for the first few days I thought I did it. I was like, I walked on the beach the other day. I know I walked on the beach the other day. But... <gasps> I didn't get... I, you know how... Have you ever seen me tie my shoes? I tie them so tight that, like, they hold my ankle really hard. And... Sometimes it chafes, but like that's what the socks are for, right? Uh, and so like there's no way I got this much sand in my shoes. But maybe I did. Maybe I, I, I just did. And I was like, ooh. Possible deniability. The mm -hmm. best kind of pranks. I actually took them and went on a walk in the beach to see if I could replicate getting that much sand in my shoes. And I didn't. And then I was like, oh no, something's really wrong here now. <laughs> oh. Speaking of pranks, mm -hmm. you dump the battery acid? No. It was actually Gatorade. Oh god, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought I eventually, after like, once you were back to normal and you were still doing it, I was like, there's no way that's battery acid. But I never could confirm it. Well, it's difficult to, to confirm it when. There is actually battery acid also in the fridge. Right. And, and so, antifreeze. Did you actually have to drink that when you're a rabbit? No. He, he does I a surprise eat. Pikachu face. I didn't need to eat. I didn't need to drink. So he was all fake. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Fox. Great. Now that you know, I'm going to come up with something even more clever to confuse you. I've given an eye out now. I know who to look for now. He's <laughs> just like, does that I'm watching you? The, 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 you know this means uh, the war is on. I'm allowed to bring you back now. Well, you can try, Nigel. But you'll fail. You will not fail. You'll not see it coming when it happens. Nigel. She turns to face him. She gets very close to him. He looks down. <laughs> kind of like leans up, you know, almost touching Nigel. Mm -hmm. And then... Kind of flutters eyes, rolls, you know, seduction. <gasps> no, don't and... do this to him! <laughs> I have to. I'm sorry, Nigel. Charlie, why? <laughs> Charlie! Charlie, we got past this! Charlie, no! Uh, four successes. Oh, no. Let me fucking what does he roll. get? What does oh, he I, get? I, I'm rolling one sec. Do I add meditative mind? He's pretty much been hanging out and just having a good yeah. time this whole time, so I think so. Yeah, yeah, add it. He'll probably do pretty well. He's got 11 fucking dice. Oh my god. What? <laughs> How much successes did you get? I got four. I got out of 11 dice, I got one success. Most of these wow. rolls are ones. Uh, now you understand my pain. Oh no, Charlie, what have you done? And then, so you know, it's like everything's there, and then she instantly ruins it by poking on the nose and saying, You see, Nigel, as a female, I can utterly destroy you at the moment's notice. Open it. Drop that. And when she takes a step back, it acts normal again. See? They need to do that. <laughs> I didn't need to, but I was proving a point. Oh to win. <laughs> Did you say I play to win? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's a war. Well, I need to win the war. 
<laughs> He's probably Are you got sure like... you want to do this, Nigel? You sure? <laughs> He's probably got like a little bit of a rosy, like, hot tips in his ears. <laughs> just like... She seems very playful at the moment. He's just like... I have to roll to see if he's like, am I will? Am I, am I ready to open these kinds of floodgates? <laughs> this is scary. Those are d20s, no. It's <laughs> with you, boy. I forget to change it. <laughs> What's even funnier is that it's it goes d10, d12, then d20. Mine starts on d20. Oh my god. Okay. He, he thinks for a moment, and Charlie, you could actually see him for a moment, like, like, if you want to empathy him, you can. Uh, I will. I will. Um, I got 11 dice to empathies now. Okay, okay Nigel, um, tell me your inner soul, seven successes. What? Let me fucking roll Rescop first, Jesus. <laughs> oh my, seven successes? Yeah. Charlie's been getting some really good empathy rolls lately. She's, she's seeing emotions now that she has them. Uh, okay, uh, Charlie, you're able to see that you've severely, severely confused Nigel. Uh, okay. And he's very apprehensive, and not like in a negative light, but as in like a, oh, she was really attractive just then. <laughs> She kind of chuckles and says, Don't worry, Nigel. I, I know that you're in Tulara. Don't worry. That was a friendly joke. Oh, then say anything. I said nothing. I, you don't need to say anything, Nigel. Remember, I am a trained agent who his entire job is to read people, oh. to, to detect if they're lying, to detect if they're. Ten. What are you doing using all your agent training while we're on vacation? I'm certainly not. Also, you're on, by the way. I don't care whatever tools you have in your eyes in the line, I'll get you back. She rolls her eyes and says it's your funeral. Oh, if it dies, it will not be. I can't use your womenly job forever. Well, you see, that's just my trunk. I need to. Oh look, a distraction. When she points behind him. He <laughs> raises an eyebrow. <laughs> Hers is just like... What laying along here then? Alright. Rolls eyes. Looks. As he looks... Charlie... Uh, what is Charlie? We're, we're like, you know, walking towards... Beach area, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the scooping area. I imagine it's, you know, not a lot of people because it is later, but, um, oh, fuck, what is it that Charlie does while he's distracted? Distracted? Ah, uh, uh, I quotes. know. <laughs> quote, quote, uh, I know. Charlie turns her sunglasses and flips them rounds of it now we're upside down just what? very random thing like is she wearing them yeah she, she she's been wearing them the entire time oh my god but now we're just you know upside down it's just like am i allowed to look back for my distraction eh well there's lots of pretty birds so i say that you could look at something up there Ooh. I'm just looking, I'm enjoying the sights. Mm, I'm gonna stop well. being distracted in three, two, one. Okay, I'm, I'm not distracted anymore. He looks back. Oh, <laughs> I like it, it's a good look. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. He plucks the sunglasses off of her face and puts them on. <laughs> right side up. She squints at that. I'm using those. Oh, yeah, they're up here. Nigel, I'm six feet feet tall. Uh, just because you're happy to be a foot and a bit more <laughs> tall doesn't make you a giant compared to me. No, it doesn't. I'm used to everyone being small. It doesn't mean you could get them back for you. She goes to reach to grab them back. I dodge. <laughs> a 
I, I thought he was just going to like take him off and lift him above his head. He could. He, well, because... she can, can she, if he does that, can she still reach? I'm trying to think. She, she has to jump to do that. Oh, he'll just do that then. <laughs> Nigel, you're in perfect shin kicking height. I'll see if you can hit my shins. <laughs> oh, man, he does a little bounce one. I'm quick on my feet, y'all. Man, she's gonna try to kick him in the shin. The call dodge. <laughs> You're lucky that I don't have that. I don't have maxed out fucking brawl. <laughs> Time to roll all the fucking dodge dice. Yeah, I think you're gonna dodge three successes. Four successes to dodge. Oh my god, he just barely made it. <laughs> He, he, she got close. He barely dances out of the way. He's just like, Ooh, look at that, shins unharmed. He does a little, like, half step away from her, like a little closer to the water. She is trying to fucking jump to get her uh, sunglasses. He, he will dodge again. <laughs> uh, oh god, only two successes this time. Two successes, reroll. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. How much you get? A lot. I need to roll four fucking more times. Okay. Did you get over ten? Let's see. Two. Seven. Nine. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> so he goes to dodge. And I imagine you just like how do, how do you get them, Charlie? Charlie, you know, like, fakes them out as if she's going to, you know, kick him again. Mm -hmm. But instead, as she's going to kick, she launches herself with her upper foot and oh. snatches her glasses away. He, he goes to dodge the kick, and then she fakes him out, and you see him, like, look over, like, in his eyes. You can't see his eyes wide, and suddenly he's wearing the glasses. <laughs> but you see, and he kind of, like, Whoa. And could they get taken? Puts them back on properly and says, Good fight, Gareth. I didn't see that. I'm good at what I do. Hmm. Ah, look, we're here. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> he uh, saunters on over. Charlie follows. So I imagine there's probably like a whole talk spiel thing before they can get their stuff. Yeah. I'd also imagine like has Nigel done scuba diving before? Because Charlie has. Probably, yeah. Okay, so then they're probably, you know, able to get through that pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. He's barely paying attention during the, the talking. It's like, we're special forces, we've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Probably at some point looks at Charlie and just does the, like, uh, uh, board looking like little hand clothes and open blah blah blah. <laughs> Charlie just sighs and quietly says he's just doing his job. Mm -hmm. Don't kill the newbies that don't know what they're doing. You like, see? look at that one right there. And she points to some that's, you know, like, from the cage. I don't even know what that's for, I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah, can't, I don't want to be as good as we are, I guess. New uh, yeah, kills, uh, yeah. guppies. Uh, uh, do, are they, when diving, do people have apparatus to be able to communicate, I assume? I've never dived before, so. Um, so normally when diving? Like, it's, if you are, it depends on what kind of time you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, I imagine this, it's just goggles and the kit and mm -hmm. flippers. Okay. So I, so I don't, so I think that the only way to communicate is sign language. Gotcha. But when you do a full shebang, yes, normally you have, like, a microphone and speak. Mm. Does, not, uh, does Charlie know sign language? Yeah. Hendel does not. <laughs> no. Oh, Nigel just know a military sign. Hmm. Oh, 
a military sign language. Possibly, yeah. yeah like, I would imagine he kind of has to. Jordan doesn't make a spend for that. Okay, then yeah, he would. It's just that, you know, you can't have a full conversation. Yeah, it's just like going in this direction and things like that. Yeah. So you probably have a fun time. Mm-hmm. You can see for reefs, fish, sharks. He gets really ex- like you can tell that he gets excited whenever there's living things around. <laughs> Charlie, not Jimmy Chell. Tell that Charlie just likes looking at the things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he purposely paddles around Charlie several times. Charlie just rolls her eyes. <laughs> you can't see the smile, but you know it's there. It's always there. <laughs> So I imagine they do that for a while. Yeah. Afterwards, emerge, come back. It's probably what? How long do, does one scuba dive for? Hour? Two hours? Two, three hours. Depends on how much air you have in the tank. Let's go three hours. That sounds fun. All right. Get a good look at everything. And Charlie gets, you know, mm-hmm. takes what's off. Still in your swimwear and she's just like you know unbraiding un, un, you know braiding her hair like you know, brushing out with her hand where spread of that long hair is keeping it looking pretty well you did get you with it though it looks really nice so this is like works on getting his stuff off she kind of rolls her eyes a bit and says, thank you, Nigel. Of course. I've been actually debating recently cutting my hair. I don't know, I think I'll miss it then. I think we're on the Indian trail. Well, yeah, I was thinking like, and he, he kind of shows like short hair, like not buzzed, but just like short, short. He's like, get, get rid of the bangs in the back and all that. It would look completely different. Completely? Change my silhouette? I don't know if you'd recognize me anymore. I think you, I think people might have to do a double take. I was like, that'd be a good thing though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Given what situation. She shrugs, maybe. I think it'd look okay though, like... I don't know if I could see it. You have a bit of an oval head. It's very round. I mean, it's not as round as it looks. It's mainly, and he like he presses his ears back and he back. He's like, how big he is, it's so it makes it look rounder. Mm. I think if you cut your hair too short, it makes your ears look even bigger. Well, maybe. I'll keep the burns though. I don't think I could go without my burns. Mm. We might need to change your name to Elf. Elephant? Elf. Oh, I thought you said Elephant. I've heard that one before, I just felt it to it. Elf, I don't know if it's not a bad nickname, it's nothing like Lockjaw name. <laughs> it doesn't have a, uh, what's the word for it? Dangerous appeal, though. Elf is, well, I mean, most people think of it as they think of Tolkien adults or Oh, for Santa Christmas. Yeah. Little Torky elf. <laughs> no, there's nothing little about you, Nigel. Oh, no, Your you legs. Oh, legs for days. Fill up an entire highway, they could. She rolls her eyes again and stands up. <laughs> Do you have a fun time, though? Yes, I do like diving. Hey, you seem to be looking around a lot. Well, I like to look at things. Oh, I get that. I just, I like the colors. Helps that the instructor had a nice ass. She winks. <laughs> One second, was the instructor male or female? <laughs> um, we can flip a coin. One, D2, one male, two female. One male. <laughs> That's just, just like, smiles, doesn't say anything. 
thing is just like <laughs> aggressively straight. Now there's a few cute girls as well, I'm sure. Oh, a lot of few cute girls. I've never been. I'm the name. most the cutest, and she flicks her hair when she says I'm the cutest. Look at the it. Oh, that's a good and neutral answer. That's a way to stay safe. What do you say? If, oh, you agree, the if, if, if you agree with me, well then, that means that if Lara finds out, you're dead meat. If you disagree, well, oh. now you're dead meat anyways. You know, Charlie, I'm, you know I'm not actually with Laura, right? I know you're not with her, but you want to be with her. I think, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? She hasn't talked to me since the party yet. I'm pretty sure she's done with me. <laughs> Have you tried talking to her? I haven't gone around to it. What was everything that happened? Well, there's your problem. Oh, I'm planning on talking to it. She's, she's been avoiding me, let me tell you. You think she's been avoiding you, or oh. have you been avoiding her? Oh, I haven't been avoiding her. I don't mind at all. Well, I've definitely tried waving her over, and so she keeps going. I didn't really take her um, as the shy type, but I mean... Let's, let's be honest here for a second, I don't know if she was actually really committed or just playing around, you know? Like, girls can be hard to read like that sometimes. She shrugs as well. <laughs> if you can... Get her in a situation where she's not moving about, you might be able to ask her. Alternatively, you could text her or call her. Three. It might just be bad whenever you try to wave her over. She's busy. She has a job after all. No, I mean, I but it's just you go. I'm an agent too. I'm good at picking up little clues. I like well, it. we also we also do pick up the clues that we want to see. I want her to be fine with me. I'm not picking, like, I'm not nervous that she will be upset about what happened to me. It's just... I mean, it's a little bit of a strange situation for everyone, wasn't it? I thought it was great, but obviously that's just me. I thought it was pretty amusing. Like, it was funny, right? I was talking with Gavin, and he's like, I was drowning in breath, and I was like, <laughs> it was hilarious. That might have been hilarious for him, but it was a very uncomfortable feeling. Mm. That is magnetable, at least. Oh, I, did, I wouldn't imagine. I thought it was just like... It didn't pull me. It pulled a very specific part. He looks confused. <laughs> huh? He was a pussy magnet, Nigel. Oh! Well, I knew that, but I didn't think that either. Ooh. Okay, so oh, it was indeed. like yes. Was it, was it like completely feeling that like different? Yes, Nigel. Huh. It's why I went legs first into another man, and I then stabbed him. Shrugs. Shrugs. That's just something you're into. Who knows? Gavin, not your type. <laughs> Not at all, he's... well... Soft. She... Soft, a bit chubby... Well, a well, bit... I was trying to use soft is the nice word for it. <laughs> no, I also meant soft as personality-wise, he's a bit, a bit soft. Oh, well, he's nice, I guess. He's nice there. Not being nice isn't the same as being soft, I mean, like... He's just not my type. Oh, fair enough. Oh. What is your type? Well, you can ask Agent Lee Trap because he's trying to figure it out. Was he trying to date you or something? I thought the other thing was a bulwark. No. And no, he's, he's trying to figure out my type. Because I told him that I'm going to have intercourse with his, with, uh, his boss, Nazara. I said it as a joke. Did you? I did. 
So now he is looking to see if I have a type and what it is. Over there, everyone's got a type. Well, everyone, well not everyone. Who doesn't? Maybe I don't, she says with a smile. Oh, that's, that's the answer of someone who definitely has a type. That's the answer of someone that's not telling me if I have a type or don't. No, it's because you can't like. <laughs> well, that's why I'm being vague. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you do, you do. I mean, I won't I be shy about that. it, I've got a type. And Gavin's got a type. Everyone's got well, a type. I, I think everyone knows what your type is, Nigel, considering the fact that, well... What was going on between you and Lara during the, uh, through the week? <laughs> I don't know if that considers exactly a type, if not something else. Kicks, then. Yeah, that's, that's, that was something. Um, <laughs> He's just uh, kind of like, one thing, puts a hand on his face like, goodness gracious. <laughs> the one thing that's still... It's probably the most amusing about the entire ordeal. It was Dr. Firebug. I don't even think he was affected by the SCP, but he went right into it. I went nuts. <laughs> oh, when I was out of it, once I to, to believe there was a sailor. Uh, I've never been a sailor, by the way, so that was weird. Uh, so I started pouring alcohol on his face, I don't even know why, I just did, and when I came to it, I was like, oh, I'm halfway into the bottle, might as well finish it, so I just dumped a race on him. <laughs> he probably deserved it. Oh, he definitely deserved it, the little idiot. I'm still surprised he didn't get shot. He, he's still, I think he's working towards it, honestly. But blows my mind every day. He runs around screaming about how bad he loves the SCPs. He wait until he marries one or fucks one, uh, and then, and then there he is, just enjoying the still alive. And what a groupie! Somehow, groupie. He's an SCP groupie. He's and Nigel stops. I, I... She oh. looks to Nigel because she doesn't know what a groupie is. Elaborate? I got back there. Well, why are you calling him a groupie? Yeah, it oh, is a groupie. He's group? like, he hangs around favors, really likes skips. Well, I think it just, it's just that he, he humanizes them. Oh, he, he does what he already does. <laughs> Nigel rolls his eyes. That means he humanizes you too, Nigel. I doesn't need to do that. I, I don't. We don't need humanizing. <laughs> but yes, I am surprised he hasn't been shot yet. <sighs> you know, I was a second away mm. from Tazy Rudy. Oh, not Tazy Rudy. From it's like, did you did taste Rudy. Yeah, we, we did that. That was actually quite quite a bit of fun. Yeah, I'm glad you did, the little <sighs> fucker. I mean, I'm, I'm not as much he as... He kept on twitching. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He just, he took the opportunity to dig deep. I mean, I'm oh, not as angry with him now, but at the time, oh. oh that's why he tased him. You look out for me. He, he looked joking, like, taps over his heart. <laughs> Well, I have to look out for you, Nigel. Mm -hmm. She flexed her hair. What else would I be if not a good big sister? <laughs> Probably. As... Huh? Oh no, go on. No, no, you get no, 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 I, I need to just... It's too I, late. I, <laughs> Puts I need to just stroke my ego. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Oh, I wasn't going to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. As, as I was saying, that, um, you know, the big meeting we had. Right, yeah. Wait, which one? The one? The district, uh, deciding who was going to go through the one. weapons? Or the one where you, uh, where things almost, like, completely went insane? 
That one. Oh yeah, that one was something, uh, right? Romero ordered me to arrest Rudy. Oh. And I had managed to slip behind everyone. One second. What was the last thing Charlie said? Oh god, I can't remember. Uh... No. Um... Oh, um, talk about Rudy. Yeah, I remember. Oh, right. About chasing Rudy. And then yeah. the, uh, Romero so, ordered... Uh, Rudy Mr. Romero arrested. ordered me to arrest him because he was causing problems. Uh -huh. And I snuck behind him. 
you ought to get my gun. Put put it right behind his head and click the trigger. Well, you know, the, the hammer. Not a single person per room noticed. Except for Rudy, when it would have been too late. And Dr. Vulture, who, without anyone knowing, snuck behind me and clicked his own gun. Well, now he's just copying you. He did, but it filled with so much joy and anger at the same time, because I got a reaction out of the great Dr. Vulture. Did you? I did. What was the I reaction? made him. What do you see? It is special ability to catch me. I'm oh, sorry, you, you cut out. I hear they use his special ability to catch me in time. Special ability? I know he does special. I don't know what he does there. Well, I don't know what it was exactly, but he had to do it. Mm. And I kind of proved to Rudy at that moment that <laughs> I'm very good at my job. So but, you well, bite at him so much with the, when we were in the. Uh, oh, what was it? Is it E class when you're recovering? Yeah. When we're in E class, is that what your dude had switch bite to you? She shrugs, maybe. You were talking back something really strong. I was like, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna back off because I don't want to get hit for this. Well, but Charlie, Charlie's going really hard. Go on the I don't like you. Rudy's a SCP lover, too. Oh, no. The entire site is it's unorthodox. I don't like it. Yeah, he is. Yeah. It feels like the SCPs are on the show. Well, the head researcher, if he wasn't red right hand, I'd be concerned. He's messy. But he's red right hand, so it's okay. Right, right. Um, the director is an SCP. Mm -hmm. One of the doc one of the medical doctors is an SCP. All two? Uh, yep. We now have two traitors, well, a traitor and a former enemy. SCPs who are working with the MTFs. We have lots of SCPs just walking around wherever they want. But they are working for the Foundation. Well, now they are. He seems to be thinking. Quinn came by and stopped the. Uh, talk with me when I was in the hospital. I saw. A long conversation about that, actually. All the different uh, SCPs. And, uh... Well, no, it's kind of different. Father, Father isn't he? Oh, but yeah, it was weird. I wanted to be angry at him, but I just did that with him. It's hard. Yeah. It's just like, who hey, are you to come and talk to me about what I've been through? You know, I've just been told that I'm not a human, that I'm nothing. How dare you come and talk to me? And then he brings in, oh, that happened to me too. And I'm just like, well, fuck. <laughs> guess, I'll, I guess we're both here. <laughs> He's not, yes, he's also an SCP as well, but... No, he is. But he's also... Again, red right he, hand. Yeah, he's a red right hand, so... Hero of the Foundation as well. The only good thing Sight Woman 3 has going for it. It has a lot of big names. No, but it feels like more of a publicity stunt than anything, doesn't it? It does. But, well... Maybe there's a reason for it. Might be. I just want to get my job done and move on. She nods. I find the... 
keeping tabs with uh, Romero, depending on what they do with him if he goes to any research or ends up being redistributed somewhere else. After this, I'm just gonna rejoin his team if they let me. I don't think he'd let me. I betrayed him. She chuckles. Did you talk to him? Say again? Did you talk to him? I did. How'd he go? He was, um, exacerbated and told me to leave, but it was on all right terms, I guess. Alright, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Flashback. Well, technically I didn't do anything wrong, but I'm so <laughs> sorry, sir. Charlie. Get out. <laughs> With his side, he forgave me. He didn't say he forgave, but he implied that he understood that well. I was just looking out for the foundation's interests. Mm. She shrugs. I'm glad he's back there, this for sure. One of emotions when I saw him that. But he is indeed true. What did she say? I said that is indeed true. I mean, seven years we've been working together. You longer than I, but for me, I've yes. known the two of you for seven freaking years. That's a long time to be a tight knit little unit, family, oh, yes. whatever we were. And I've been in the foundation for 15 years. Those will bond up in here longer than you. I always just you always just give me the feeling that you've been here longer than me. How long's Nigel been in the foundation? Nigel was picked up when he let me double check, I believe it was when he was fifteen. Uh, but he didn't officially join until eighteen because he did rehabilitation and shit. Uh to become a functioning thing, and they were also keeping an eye on it because he was in that in between state of visit. He and SCP, as you know. Um, yeah. Let me check. So. Yeah, he he was picked up by the foundation when he was fifteen. Uh, officially joined at eighteen, so he has technically been in it since. Let me go ahead and do the math. And... 20 years. Hmm. She shrugs and says, Well, I just had that world experience. Might be. You really just go for it. Plus, you got up to a higher rank than it. You got quality control. Well, I went from my first job straight to that. Oh, you went straight to quality control afterwards? Did he know that she was in D class? Um, probably. Okay. You went straight from D-class to quality control? I forgot what you thought I, you, I did. You probably told me that, I was just... ...middle of my mind. Maybe. But yes. Straight from D-class straight to quality control after about three months of vig vigorous training. And, well, make sure that I have the mental capacity for it. Are you like an MTF then? I mean, now that you don't have to worry about the girl. The girl? Bonnie. Oh. Bonnie. King. Yes, uh... It's still... It's a different kind of stress. It really is. I'm still getting used to it myself, really. I've never done MTF before this. She nods. It's similar to what I used to do in the class, except I'm better equipped now. Oh, so you see. It's just weird. Keeping you a dog. Our primary objective is to eliminate the problem, but you just feel wrong to ignore it. The, the, the skip, you know? Well, we, we, well, we do make exceptions. 
I'm not going to make exceptions. Just we just been getting up my ass in the hell about it. It's just, just oh, shut up. Just let us deal with it. Before I came here, when I was getting better, you you heard what happened there about that, right? Which exactly? Well, we were coming back from the uh, from the mission, and came across the where the bacon was coming from. Yes. And it how you well encountered Goliath right. at least well his body. His body, yeah, and. I was ready to contain it, take it down, because it's a problem and it's going to hurt things. And so I got ready, it shook me, we got hit by a blast and it hurt like a bitch in the hive. But I was ready to go, and I was going at it, and Clematis ran to the other direction. Hmm, well, he does have a voice. Yeah, and he's blaming me for trying to deal with the objective. Like, I'm ready to go down for this job, you know, I very much don't want it, but I'm not going to be a bitch about it. Like, for Christ's sake. Grow a pair, you fucking pansy, red-haired little shite. <laughs> he spits on the sand. <laughs> I don't do it with the sand, the sand didn't hurt you. <laughs> what do you say, the sand didn't hurt you? Yeah. You're right, you're right. He, he kind of moves his foot over the sand to kind of wrestle it so that it <laughs> buries the spit. There you go, that's a bit better. Oh, it's bad, it never happened. Mm. Except we'll remember it forever. Mm. Well, what do you think? Like, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. Right, right? Except, well, I probably would have just had the gone back to the helicopter and have the helicopter shooting distance right. then try to contain it. Well, shooting from a distance, I mean, it seems reasonable, but you gotta remember it was carrying a high-power machine gun and a rocket launcher. Oh, I, uh, I would have just had it have the helicopter shoot from maximum range. Well, so, what if it, so what if most of the shots miss so long as one hits well? As a chunk ripped out of that body. Oh, maybe, but could the rocket hit the copter from there, though? Um, well, if it's a normal rocket and you're about 500 meters away, unlikely. Mm -hmm. Even at 100 feet away, there's time for the helicopter to react and dodge it. Rockets don't fly all that fast, thankfully. But that's if it's a regular rocket. But yes, so I, I would have had a helicopter engage it, destroy all of its cover, hopefully destroy it, go down, and, well, if it's still alive, contain it. If it's dead, get the body. Three enough? Contain the body, because, well, we've captured the life at one point. And if there's a body of Goliath, well, there's a chance it'll get back up again. You have to know when Goliath, Goliath doesn't exactly have a good track record of staying dead. Yes, yeah, so, rather than, you know, just hoping the body stays down, putting it inside a containment cell sounds like a good idea. Oh, fucking skip. I need to go back and get it too. Well, that's whatever. Not something for us to think about right now. On vacation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Her turns and motions toward the sky. I imagine it's kind of evening now. Yeah. It's just like... Oh my, I'm loving the scenery, though. That relaxing, you know? It's nice. It's also nice that, you know, we can actually look at the ocean. Okay. Think about it. I'm not gonna... I can actually do my jokes, I can't stand the rig. It's, it's too isolated. It was nice the first few weeks, but I can't wait until we move. And he goes over I to the shore to... and he, he looks around and probably picks up a, a shell or a rock. I also it just... Water. Something about the rig just feels off. Besides the 
heart. Mm -hmm. He looks over his shoulder. What'd you say that? <laughs> the leech mentioned in that that Rick isn't. And ever since he mentioned it. Wait, isn't what? It's abnormal. Ever since he mentioned it, well, I happen to agree. Normal. Oh, the, 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 the weird eye thing. I, I don't know anything about a weird eye thing, but... He says he can see things sometimes, I don't know. Well, then I'll have to take his word for it, but... There's something off about that sight. Oh, Besides just the whales and the ocean. Skips another shell? Well, the oh, ocean's the only thing I've noticed. I mean, I haven't noticed uh, the girl's eyes. But the, the, the face itself seems perfectly fine to me. Although you have really had it from fun, sweetie. It's not for painting it. Skip, 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 skip. It's more so just swell. Just something about it feels off. I don't know what it is. Can't pay for it at all, you just get the hairs on your neck, rising up. Chance? Uh oh. Did I cut out? Uh, I don't know, did I cut out? I haven't heard you since I spoke. Oh. That's weird. When did you last hear me? Yep. Oh, um, I, I last heard you say, oh, so, uh, like, the hairs on the back of your head? And yeah, Charlie was the like, hairs yes. on the rising up. Okay, I didn't hear the yes. So Charlie was like, yes, it's just something odd about it. Mm. Also, didn't we recently discover an SCP that we'd be gardens? That, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, didn't we just discover an SCP in the community gardens right before we left? Right, uh, Spoin did. Yes. That's unusual. I, th I think it's something that was planted there. I don't think it's this light. Where did she get the seeds? I don't know. If and that's, I, I've got a problem with that, really. I need to talk to Spoin, because I know she's really happy about it. But well, it's not the Foundation's job to be making skips. No, it's not. <laughs> well, so long as proper containment procedures are made, mm. I'll be happy. But until I hear, so, uh, at the moment, I don't really care. It's a flower, it can't move. But if it starts being able to move, well, I might have to put in a request when it gets put into a cell. Which would be fair. She's named it. <sighs> Rule number one, don't get attached to SCPs. Exactly. Rule number one. It was day one, like... Rule okay. number two, don't fuck the SCPs. Right, right. That correlates with rule number one, don't get attached. That is a real is it? A question that we're with the base, I mean, rule number two is don't fuck the skips. Yet almost everyone on base is a skip. We are the definition of, uh, what was the word? Celibacy, cel cel help me out here. Uh, Celibacy? That, that. Oh, she leans it. back and thinks. I'm pretty sure there's sex going on on the base. I mean, no, what I'm saying though is that, but is anyone putting a dick in anything? You do it, and then there's a, a 50% chance you're breaking the rule number two. Oh, yes, that is the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that uh, is just the site 113 is a site that's allowed to that rule. Oh, wait, is it different if you're an agent of the Foundation, and also a skip? So. I'd say so. Hmm. 
special agents need to be able to, you know, let out some steam. Okay, so, okay, so. That makes more sense, okay. It's just weird to think about. But they work for the Foundation, so, alright. Get the pass, I guess. I certainly will not agree with it. <laughs> Say again? Well, he said, I certainly won't argue it. Hmm. He probably laughs and gives a wink. <laughs> for the best. Still. <laughs> hmm? It's not my business, but I'm curious, you know? You always wonder who's hooking up with you. It's such a small contained area, everyone gonna pairs off eventually. You know what I'm saying? Eventually. I know. So, I like to look at people and be like, mm, well, I wonder who's getting together with who. <laughs> you would make a good couple. You know, all that fun matchmaking stuff. Sure, just shrugs. Yeah, well, I don't imagine you do that day. Be right back again.
he was talking about the whole guessing who and who and all that, and he was like, and I thought, well, then imagine that's something you did. Charlie Shrugs. Oh, my goes like. Oh. The most I. Do is... Quiet chance. The most I do is. Consider interests. Oh? Yep. I see. Do let me in on the GC gossip. Like, you know I love my gossip. I know you love your gossip, and that's exactly why I can't tell you. Well, come on, Charlie. Oh, I would, I would share with you in the heart, but you know I would. You can't do me square like that. Well, you see. If I told you you were in the mystery, Don't and I need mystery. to be mysterious. Hey, I'll throw you in the water, come on! <laughs> Shrugs. I like to be mysterious, though. So. Oh, no, you like to be mysterious, but give a go your conversation. Come on, who, who are you thinking? Who are you looking at? The, the possibilities. Oh, there's lots of possibilities. Mm -hmm. But if I tell you about revealing the hints to my type. Oh, would it? It would. Hmm, alright, alright. Well, now you know this is the web's getting thicker here, isn't it? That it is. But it's all more reason to not share. So, we need, well, now, now I'm thinking, now I'm formulating an idea. I'm starting my web here, right? I'm going to investigate right. this web. Uh, and at the end of it is me. Beating Leech out and figuring out your type before Leech even caught on. Well, it's a good thing Leech doesn't know anything. Right. His secret is safe. Well, you said you're gonna fuck the Zara. So let's that start. I did say. So, he raises one finger. I have a start, I have a lead. You do. Okay, so what is it about the Zara, is it? Because he's an she shrugs. Is he, oh, it's because he's mysterious, I bet. Because you like being mysterious. I do like being mysterious. Empathy. <laughs> um, Charlie's in a better mood. Um, get it fucked, Nigel. How much? Um, I got... Six successes. Yeah, he's got no idea. But, I'll say that, she seems amused. <laughs> he's just like, mmm, a tough cookie to crack, Charlie, what did he say? So we got Zora, lead agent Nazara. Yep. What is there to know about lead agent Nazara? I barely knew the guy, but we knew that. that. He is... Oh, wait, what? Five foot eight to six foot, right? Somewhere around there? Yes. He's an agent. Yes. He says classified a lot. He does. So he's mysterious. He's active. He's... white. She raises a brow at that one. Hey, some people care about race. I'm fine, I'm a racist, Nigel. Oh, damn, oh, damn, there's nothing about it. It's just some people got their preferences. <laughs> but now I know that's not one of yours for sure. See what he's saying. Square, square face. He's kind of got like a rectangular face, doesn't he? I see he's more angled. Angled? Oh, right. Angled, and he's got brown hair and, uh, with a yes. suit. He has a wear suit. He looks very good in the suit. Ah, looks good in the suit. Alright, there's a start. Do we like four mil? Maybe. I bet he, I bet he'd look even better without his suit on. 
Oh, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> oh, but now you are. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm oh working God, really hard not to. He's... I, I'd imagine from his, you know, figure that he's not exactly fully muscular, but he has like a gymnast body. So there's abs there. There's muscle there. It's just more evenly spread out. But she definitely put thought into this. I'm just helping you out, Nigel. Well, I know if I'm already part of from this conversation, this is all for you. <laughs> you see, it's when we get a little bit lower where I grow up a little bit more interested. Oh, no. <laughs> and let me tell you, the Halloween party gave me a very good idea on what's is packing. Nigel's just nodding like, yep, this is my life now. <laughs> It's so different when I talk about this stuff with Garvin. It's so different. <laughs> Charlie just, you know, kind of crosses her arms and smiles at Nigel like, hey, yeah, Nigel, I can play this game and I can win. <laughs> he sticks his tongue out there. <laughs> But what could then you gave me? I'm not about to play chicken, I'm not gonna lose this game. If you need to figure it out there, you go ahead and talk about his dick soy. I wanna know how it tastes. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> he, he composes himself and just is like, right, no, no, that was like feel. <laughs> She kind of smirks at that, getting such a visceral reaction. <laughs> From what I have tasted there, it's salty. That's a little enduring. There's a bit of a musky scent, and even a bit of a taste there too. But I don't know if that's like that for everyone. Killing my jolly. <laughs> well, Nigel, you can't always stop the conversation at any time. Oh no, but there might be hints in there. <laughs> You're right, there might be hints with exactly how his cock tastes. Oh, no, I'm not interested in being a man. They were calling that one day, and I'm, I'm not weak, I'm just not gay. <laughs> I, I, I hear that, um, apparently, oysters increase the amount of semen production. Does it really? Apparently, but pineapples and apples and a few other fruits change how it tastes. Oh. I wonder if that's true. I couldn't tell you. I'd be... Well, I'll be happy to find out at some point. Well, and I'll let you know all about it, Nigel. You know, you, know, you think you're trying to, you know, weed me out here, or I want you to be like curious, please do. <laughs> Alright. Be like, hey, this guy who was with, say, six apples, and then I went right down on them, and they tasted like cider. Oh, it went silent again. Oh, dear. Oh. Chance?
So Nigel says, uh, Oh, I'm not you now, I'm not me. If you go and you, uh, you fuck a guy who just ate six apples, let me know if he comes cider. She looks at him with like that bland expression. <laughs> He's just chortling to himself. He was proud of that. <laughs> Are you proud of that, Nigel? I'm oh, so proud of that. What do you mean? It's funny. What, you do think that's funny? Come on. Did I DC again? Chance? No, you're muted, okay. Hmm. The last thing I heard of was Charles Charlie say. You're so quiet, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So the last thing I heard, heard was Charlie asking Nigel if he's proud of himself. Oh, he was like, I'm so proud of myself. Come on, that was funny. <laughs> yes, it was. So I knew, I knew he thought so. He says he, he pokes her a couple times on the shoulder. She jiggles her eyes. Well, hmm? I am going to go head out and go to my room and get some room service. Well, right, you have a good day. It was enjoyable, Nigel. <laughs> See you around tomorrow. Of course, have a good night. And Charlie will go to her room. Oh, oh get into service. The way that she leaves and go off on his own. Nice. Yay. Yeah.